Greetings, you scum. My name is Krusty, and welcome back to Fallout 4. Sir Baddersworth, the adventurous little spirit which dwells within him, constantly pushing for more adventures. I found some more. I found some more adventures. Now, these ears of her tales at the start of such adventures could very well begin inside of Diamond City itself. Now, such potentially daring adventures may also lead to lots of danger, and if you were to encounter such an amount of danger, one might find themselves requiring certain companions to lean on in order to aid them in precarious situations. Our obnoxiously talkative gorilla may not be enough companionship for this tale, so I need to craft myself some kind of device which will allow me to capture friends, because I don't usually just talk to people and get to know them on a personal level like a normal human being. Obviously, I gotta throw a ball at them and then catch them for a little bit and then they might fight for me. All I need is a nuka cola and a little bit of plastic and the wonders which you can accomplish with those things. Just one nuka ball right there. There you go. One becomes ten, apparently. Ten should be more than enough. We shouldn't really want any more than ten of them. Talking gorilla. Check. Pokeballs. Check. Fancy super duper hairstyle. Check. Let's make our way to Diamond City. Where's my brother? I swear, I'm not a synth. Don't shoot, for God's sakes, we're family! He's not a synth, buddy. Probably not. Put the not. gun down, now! Yeah. He's a synth! He'll kill us all! Kyle, no! <laughs> His head was a watermelon! Just you folks in your damn paranoia. What if he is a synth, though? And if I were to befriend a synth, that might be slightly advantageous. So, I would be a fool not to get one of them. I'm not surprised that it actually... <laughs> why am I? Why am I surprised that that actually worked? That was bloody off. Oh, that was bloody fantastic. Can I capture the doctor? Oh no, I captured your security guards! Oh no! Okay. That was... Uh, okay. Um, I wanted to capture the doctor, but okay then. What about Robot Chef? Can I have him? Can I have Robot Chef? Is that possible? Can oh my god, it's possible I captured me as Chef. Which is a robot. I'm going to be the greatest Pokemon trainer of all time. They're not even Pokemon. Two of them are people. And one of them is a robot. Who says slavery is dead? That's... It's not. It's not. It's actually a very real thing, which is very much alive and kicking in the real world. is a horrendous, horrible thing, and I do not support it. I mean, at all. Uh, not at all. I mean, I realise in these, these situations, everything I say may have a hint of sarcasm and humour behind it. But seriously, don't like slavery. It's terrible. I mean, the more I speak about it, the more... Does it seem more like a joke or does it help? I don't know. I'll just stop it. I'll just stop it. You must be the new guy that's here that, that I'm supposed to talk to. Hello? Hello? Are you the one going around town telling everyone you're looking for your son? I haven't mentioned that at all, actually. I mean, I haven't really, I haven't even started the main quest, so I, I as far as I'm aware, the, the law which I've created, I don't have a son, but sure, let's push that ahead. Depends on who's asking. I mean, it's pretty clear. I'm asking. If you're blind, then you probably aren't right for this side quest. Now, is it you or not? <laughs> so, he's so self-aware. What happened to your voice? Why is your voice sounding all normal? Would you like to help me instead? I'll make it worth your while. Okay. Okay. I mean, I did come looking for you, so yeah, that's sure. Look at the intrigue on that man's face. That's a definite yes. My stall is low on product. In my youth, I discovered a vault full of the stuff. But now I can't handle the monsters in there. I need you to clear it out for me. What's the plan? Brilliant. Long lost sons can be lost a little longer. Yeah, sure. Screw them. I'll need you to clear out Vault 5 so I can restock. The remaining pieces of power armor are conveniently scattered around the wasteland. Prove it's done by bringing me the Monster Queen's prize lunchbox. You'll find it with the torso piece of the armor. This hollow tape will tell you everything you need to know. You can play it on your smartwatch. So travel around the wastes, find various bits of power armor, put the power armor together, come back to the guy, feel pretty good about the situation. Easy, simple. Let's go find the first parts of the power armor. Still want to know how to use my Pokemon people though. Like if I just throw them, I would have thought they're supposed to come out, but they don't. They don't. They just. They... 
Oops. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I uh, just trapped my gorilla inside of a Pokeball and I don't know how to get him back out again. Oh, I get it. So you catch them inside the Pokeballs and then, then they turn into separate items and then you throw them and then they come back out again. Hi! I'm sorry for throwing you, capturing you inside of a ball. I know you're like a free spirit and you don't really like that kind of stuff. Now let's go find that first piece of the power armor. Help! My radio studio. It's overrun with ghouls. Okay. What is that? Rajo is a revolutionary yoga treatment developed and practiced exclusively by myself. It's like Bikram yoga, but with radiation. Hence the name, Rajo. I came up with the name myself. What happened? All of my customers have turned into ghouls. I'm no doctor, but I blame gluten. <laughs> that bloody gluten. Namaste, my beautiful moonbeam. Now, blow their brains out. Diamond City Security Guard! I choose you! <laughs> You've got to say the whole thing, otherwise it's, it loses it. Oh no, you're the robot. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're a long way away from home. Um, you're just, you're not going to fight for me, are you? You're just going to, you're just going to walk away. That's, and that's fine. Unless I command you to fight for me. Attack that feral ghoul! Do it, he's doing it! It's actually like real Pokemon. Get that glowing one in there! The, the glowing one's very dangerous. I don't, don't want to deal with it. <laughs> Wash my hands with the whole situation. I don't have to do a goddamn thing. You might want to go inside the building very, very slowly. Very, very slowly you move. What if I just go in and lure him outside of the building? Hey, buddy! Hey, buddy! Hey, buddy! I got it. He's lured. Shoot him now! Shoot him now! You can't You can't shoot him now. because why, why are you walking away? Gotta go this way, man. All of us assault! This, I mean, this is, this guy's pretty tough. This guy's pretty- this is gonna take all three of us to take him down. He should really be dead by now. He really should. Just- just kill him. Just kill him. Just kill him. Did you kill the robot? He killed the robot. Yeah! <laughs> How about some of that? Well, job well done. It wasn't without its losses, though, because- you, Oh, you're not dead! You just powered down. You got very, very lazy. My gorilla is doing push-ups. Great, great. You got, gotta be... <laughs> oh, it got, it's gotta train. Okay, buddy, I did your damn dirty work for you. Do you have power armor legs for me or not? Is it done? Yep. Take these metal yoga pants as a sign of my thanks. Okay, so next location. I hate magicians. What is this? Gonna meet a magician. Found the headpiece. It's with a magician, which, as I've told you before, Diary, I find terrifying. I don't know why I'm reminding you about this. Seems like lazy writing. Either... <laughs> yeah, fun, funny, funny. His trickery isn't of this world. I've seen him pull coins from ears where they were number four. Ooh, magical. Before I go though, I'm gonna, I'm gonna capture myself a yoga instructor because that's very important to do that, isn't it? It's very... <laughs> Got myself a yoga instructor. Not another step. We'll let you through for... 500 caps. 500 caps? I don't believe 500 caps. Come on! Do I look like I can afford that? Yeah. You do. And if you can't, I don't care. Well, you should care, because I can't afford it, so you don't get what you want, you very silly man. Fortunately, Buttersworth is a smooth talker. We can get out of this situation just fine. No harm has to come to anyone. I don't think so. This will show you for trying to rob me! You bloody know who I am! I'm like Buttersworth Griller with an alien gun and I capture people like they're my slaves, but they're Pokemon, so it's fine. They were people once. Now that's what they look like. <laughs> it serves them right for crossing me. Man, this is a really nice place. Look at all these things you got here, I man. You got like a little, like a power armor little action figure thing, like a little cannon, and there's like. Mini nuke, Q nukes are uh, probably fine to sell in a shop. It's probably all fake though, right? Because you're like a magician. So I mean, not not to disrespect you and say being that's what I came here for. That's what I want. That helmet right there. That's what I. You you have what I desire. I'm gonna talk to you now like a normal human being would do. Excuse me, I'm very busy working on my show. What do you want? I'm very busy moving to New Vegas. I need you to get an important document from my parents' house before I leave. If you do that, I'll give you the prize headpiece from my famous uh, disappearing headpiece trick. 
Okay. Wouldn't it be easier just to actually chop people's heads off? It's probably not. It's a different show, probably. Why don't you get it? I have a rare condition called spornitis. When I get stressed, I begin to fall through walls and floors. Some mornings I spawn in the air and need to have a stim pack for breakfast. I need someone to do this for me. I'll go right now. Fantastic. I knew I could count on you the second you barged in here uninvited. Head to my parents' place near Forest Grove Lodge. They might ask too many questions, so see if you can get it without arousing their suspicion. Return soon, as I am very, very busy. Okay. <laughs> you're very... You're super busy. What about those handcuffs? Are they for... You, you know, I'm not going to question the handcuffs. I'm just going to... I mean, whatever he's into. He's, he's a very lonely person. He can do what he wants. Who's there? Uh oh Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Uh, buddy, get out of the way! He's going to blow up! No! He looks okay, but he never really changes. So I don't. Is he okay? You think I'm funny, huh? You think I'm funny? Oh, you are okay. Great. It's good. It's good that you're okay. I mean, how you survive that? I don't know. <laughs> Tougher than you look, obviously. I'm a friend of your weird magician, son. How are you doing? Oi! What are you doing in my ass? Get out of it! I don't want it. I like being here. Just looking for something. It better be the door you're looking for, otherwise you'll get my boot up your ass. Just trust me when I say it's important. Important business? Who do you think you are? You can't just bowl into someone's house and do as you will. So I'm bad as wherever I can do as I please. Oh, hello. Are you want to mix friends? Hey, sure. Well, why don't you have a cup of tea and we can all have a chat? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. You've got a cat? You've got a cat? Now you've got a cat eating extra a picture of a cat. That's very strange, but you've got a little cat. Hello. I'm just going to go look around your house, all right? I'm, I'm curious about the kind of stuff you have, like a toilet plunger. If I wanted a toilet plunger, I'd bloody take it. You know what I mean? Fantastic looking toilet... Hello. Experimental Merv. That's... Oh, yeah. I totally forgot. This mod actually also has, like, new weapons and stuff. So I, I would steal that if... if I mean, I'm going to steal it. <laughs> bring it in here. So you don't see what I do, like... Like, steal it, you know? I'm going to bring it in here and then steal it. <laughs> That's what... I, it's my gun now. This is what I have. Playwall magazine. He he wants a Playwall magazine. This is what he wants. Wants a gosh darn nudie magazine. Okay, that's <laughs> that's this is very strange. Hello, lady. There's a sword here. You know what? I think I'm gonna have it. I'm not gonna question where it's been. Thank you very much for your hospitality. I've I have acquired what I came here for. That being, I just kind of took it without permission. But that's. That was always going to be the plan anyway. I was not going to not leave this place without it. I was not going to... I was not going to leave this place without it. That's what I meant to say. Have you brought the document? Yeah. The, the, the document. Do, do, why are you trying to sound professional? It's a booby magazine. It's one of those magazines that has boobies in it. Thank you for achieving my document, as I am very busy. As promised, here is your power armour. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. I stole this weapon from your parents' house. I hope you don't mind, but I really want to test it out, so I'm just going to kind of fire it over there now. Yes. Oh, wow. That is quite beautiful. It's a mini nuke that splits into more mini nukes. That's quite... It's quite a beautiful thing. I'm just going to go ahead and throw this ball at you, and then we can be, like, eternal friends, all right? Like... I don't think any, <laughs> any, you know, I captured a magician, hooray. So we got the legs and we got the helmet. Now we only need the arms and I'm assuming the final piece, which is the torso. I'm not going to do that in this episode though, because time constraints are a thing and I don't want this episode to go on for too long. What I do want to do though is like use my newly caught magician friend in a wonderful battle for the ages. Magician, I choose you and all that. And turn the cap back. That would be, should have had a cap. Could be cool if I have a cap. Shoot those things! He has a flamethrower! Good, because there's a lot of them. Uh, there, there's quite a lot of them, buddy. There, there's quite a lot of them. I have, I mean, I got a gun as well. Don't, I can... I can help! I got one! Oh! I have alien technology, you bloody primitives! Stay out of my way or I'll turn you to ash! Alright, I'll turn you to... Turn you to bloody ash! See, like that one. Like there, he went all blue and I turned him to ash. Where's my magician friend? Is he dead? Oh no, my magician friend is dead! Oh well. 
You also hurt my gorilla, which I'm much more upset about. Bloody girl. Make a bloody girl. I guess a decent thing to do would be to go and inform his parents of their son's untimely passing. Should maybe leave out the part when I enslaved him inside of a tiny ball, though. Oh, hello. Are you one of Mick's friends? No, oh, I might actually be kinder if I just, you know, kind of just... Just... just uh, be, be a little bit kinder. Are, are you alive? Are you kidding me? Are you, are you, he's not okay. He's not alive anymore. <laughs> he's not alive. Ain't no one surviving that. Now that might have seemed like an overreaction and quite an escalation of events. However, I thought it was the less cruel way to go about things. I don't really want to inform them that their son has died. I mean, think about what that would do to them. That would be very. That would just be horrible. Like heartbreaking. They'll feel terrible about it. This way. They'll never feel ever again. And that's much better. Where is the cat? Where is- they had a cat. I forgot they had a cat. Where is the cat? Where is the cat? Where is the cat? Where's 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 the cat? Where- Oh god, where is the cat? The cat isn't anywhere to be found. Unless... Unless... Then this is crazy, but stick with me a little bit here. Unless the cat went back into the painting world. That's the reality I now choose to believe. Now I'm going to end this video here, so thank you very much for watching. If you liked it and you wish to see more Fallout 4, go ahead and leave a like and a comment down below, letting me know what you think of this mod in particular and what you've seen here. I kind of like it. It's very, you know, it's just like a, like a new, new quests just thrown into the world. It's always wonderful. It's free. You shouldn't complain. Now, obviously, we're only halfway through the quest line at the moment, so we're going to be back regardless whether you like it or not. But it does help me out if you leave a like and a comment and stuff. So if you want, if, I mean, if you want to be a good person, then you would do that anyway. You would do that anyway without prompting. If you were a good person, you, you would leave a like. So thank you very much for watching, and I shall see each and every one of you in the next video. So, so long. Farewell. Goodbye.